Looks like I'm live. It's what it says. I don't know. Let's see. Yep, you're live. All right, guys. Well, happy Saturday to who? To me. There's nobody here. That's okay. Because there, there's going to be people here in the future. So, um, I'll wait till a couple people get in here and I'll start discussing the day. But my plan is to work. Just to work. That's the plan, Stan. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move some stuff around. I thought there might be some people here to talk to. There's not. So I'm just going to move this over there and get to it. Uh, should have enough battery for now, right? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Battery says 12%. Oh, well, that's not good. I guess we're going to have to just leave it like that. I'll move it over here or something. Or something. Hello, hello. Are you there? Nope, nobody there. Okay. So I think we'll go like this. Like this. There you go. That'll work. Works for me. I have this light. I think I'll crank this one up like this. Good like that. Yeah. Right that right there. And I'm putting very good keywords or something. <laughs> That's crazy. Like that. All right, we're going to start. Well, you know what? Oh, Caroline's got the other phone that has the stuff on it. Dang it. Dang it. Um, I'm sitting here looking at all kinds of stuff, so I guess it shouldn't be that hard to. I'm overthinking it, man. Just start grabbing. Okay, this thing is trash, in my opinion. Um, let's put that over there. Let's go ahead and get these books up. Because these books. memory card up there. I have no idea what these go for, but we'll find out. All I should have uh, put this on. Should have shared it, huh? You know what? Let me share it real quick. Let me do that. Because I can't expect people to just know. You know? Let's see where we're going to share this at. I guess I'll throw it up there on my Facebook.
I don't know if there's anybody there because I'm posting. Okay, post Facebook. Hi, folks and fellow resellers. Stop in and work along with me. Post. All right. So there you go. What else you got there? I don't tweet. You guys tweet? Google Plus. Where would it go on Google Plus? Let's see. Never. Oh, got to create a profile. Never shared anything there. Close that out. Let's see what's next. What's that? Blogger? Nope. Reddit? Nope. Tumblr? Nope. Pinterest? Nope. 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 Man, there's all kinds of uh. All kinds of something. That could work. It's very possible, though, that there's people here, and I just can't see them because they're not signed up. That very well could be, too. So, my name's Todd Ren, and I'm the Flippin' Hustler, and it's Saturday, August 11th, and I'm taking pictures of various products that I'm going to be putting on eBay into my store called Trend and Treasure. Some of them are new, some of them are old. I prefer to sell the antique style stuff. So, that's just my thing. I tell everybody that uh, when you start, start by selling something you're going to enjoy taking pictures of. And listing. That's something you can make money on. You know? Wow, there must be somebody else live. That's all I can think. That's very possible. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Nice to see ya. That's a good word. Do, 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 do. Done. Oh, cool. Grab some random stuff out of this box and just go for it. Let's see what do we got here? Here is an old lunch box. People like those, right? Because right. to you and I, this is just a lunch box. But to the right person, they might be a teacher. That isn't drawn, it is like part of the teaches, you know, whoever does the plays and crap. And they might need a, a lunchbox. Can't find one. So they're going to go to eBay. And they're going to find one. With me. I'm going to leave the dust on there for authenticity. Give us a little. There you go. Good enough. Just tilt that up like that. Maybe like that. Not at all. It's here. Just like that. All right. That. That. Give that a twist.
do 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 this. And I'm even gonna throw the the ruler down on it. Where do I put it? So that way just one little extra step. And even if it's, you know, something that you don't really need to do it to. Some people go, hmm, I wonder how long that thing is. I don't know. Well, they'll know. So, this. Turn that down. Height on there, but we're gonna. Because at this point, it's not about what should you do, just do it. All right, try and make yourself different. I doubt that there's gonna be very many people that. will measure their lunchbox. Very simple, very easy. Oh shit, almost fell on my head. Very simple, very easy. Uh, we're gonna put it. Let's put it right, right there. Jam it in there. Yes. Let's see what we got here. What else is in this? That is chip, so I'm gonna call that trash. It's got a big old chip in it, and it's nothing fancy. It's a uh, well, International Silver Company, but it's a pretty good sized chip right there, so. Oh well. Minnie Mouse, uh, she seems to be in good order. She must be at talking. Oh, well, good. She does work. How do you shut her up? Yeah, well, okay. And it looks like this is something my mom had comped at one point because it's got a piece of tape on it. Or it could have been my wife for $9.99. So we'll go ahead and take pictures of this. And get her up there. She's been hanging out in a box. Hi. What? It's time to take your picture. You're out of here, young lady. I think we use this box over here. I'm going to elevate this to give it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, some depth, maybe. Let's see. This. Yeah, so it gives her something to lean against, you know. Like that. And that box is about, oh... Tall enough. Good job done. Where'd you go? There you go. Make sure she sits there and just be quiet. All right. Hot dog, hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Oh, yeah, that really looks good like that. I like it. So if you are here, if there's someone that is watching, I, I just posted on Facebook. And so if you came from Facebook and you don't have a YouTube page, that's okay. I do appreciate you stopping in and checking it out. Chances are, if it is, probably someone I know. Because uh, I've whittled that down just a few. What are we trying to get here? I guess we need to get her height, huh? Her height, I would say she's about a 16, 13, 13-inch, 13 13-inch 13 plush. I can't tell if her hand's got a little bit of dirt on it or what, so I'm just going to 
Let's zoom in on it. That way people can see. Okay, I'll take this out of the picture. Go like this. Make sure she doesn't have anything on her backside. Oh. Okay, you do that. Does she know another song? Okay, oh, I'll just turn her off. There you go. Okay. Looking good. Year on here, Fisher Price, 2010. She's eight years old. What the heck, huh? That's that. Flushes. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Flushes. Later, me. Oh, going there with the monkey. Yeah, I think I have bags down here too. I got a bag to put away. Where's that? Oh, it's way over there. Okay, I'll we'll get to one of those next. We'll do that. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I guess I should because I've got them. Let's look these up real quick. Better Homes and Gardens Professional Sewing Tips book. They are old. 1966 action. So, yeah. Let's see what these things are going for. Because now it's simple to look, right? To search. Just like that. Oh, it's, this one doesn't have it. My other phone has uh, the little microphone thing where I can just search for it that way. That's okay. Professional sewing tips. Nineteen sixty-six. And what we came up with is oh, twelve ninety-nine. Nice. Got two of them. Sounds good to me. Let's go to Solds. Okay, not quite as good. But what I'm going to do is, well, I guess I should look these up real quick too. And I might just put all three of these together. Knit sweaters, smocking techniques, and whatnot. This thing have a barcode. It does not. So that means it's going to be back from the, well, 1983. But they had barcodes in 83, didn't they? 82 is when this... And it was given to somebody in 83 to, uh, to Marilyn Olson. So there you go. Let's take a look and see what deal is there. Complete book of smocking techniques. Put in the author, Diane. Oops. Grant. Grand. I mean. Okay. There it is. Complete book of smocking. Five ninety one. Okay, that one's better. Ten and three shipping. Look at solds. Because that's better. Yeah, that will work. Because I've just been sitting on it and it needs to go. So, put this right there. I, I picked all these books up for 50 cents each or a quarter each or something. So I wouldn't like it, eh? That's 
that. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in. Count me working, man. Count me working. How you doing? That's just taking a book, a uh, picture of this sewing book. Look at a bunch of them. They need to go. Who is that there in the chat? <laughs> that, and I'll take pictures of the contents, man. People want to know. Maybe they want the book. They don't know what the heck's in it. Well, can't tell much from just the cover, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of the contents. That gives people an opportunity to make an educated decision. Am I right? Am I right? <clears throat> this. Got a little bit too much shadow going. This. Like that. There we go. This up. That work. Oops. Second part. All kinds of stuff in here. Sundresses. Of course, it's all lady stuff. Complete book of smocking techniques and projects. But I bet it's pretty cool once you do it. There you go. Taking pictures now. Well, the reason I'm wearing a shirt and tie is because A, I always feel better in a shirt and tie. B, uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, you know, the Andy Griffiths and the uh Leave it to Beaver, and it seems like, and you know, like I love Lucy, and all those dads used to rock shirt and ties like all day long. Man, they'd be in the Dan Breen paper in their shirt and tie. I'm like, what in the hell? But uh, I thought, you know what? I like it. I like it. So there's no reason not to, right? I guess I should have taken a couple more pictures of something like the back of the book, maybe. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? That oh, still the same one. Well, how you doing? Oops, don't select the gallery. It's not there. How's the weather over there? It is hot, hot, and hot here, and I'm loving it because down in the basement it is cool. Hoo hoo. Hey, what's up, Deadly Biz? How you doing? Photo right. editor. Dun, 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 dun. This is a live working list in picturing show kind of thing. But I thanks for stopping in, man. Good enough. All right. Onward. Hey, Katie Trady, how are you doing? Thanks for being here. You opened up a live listing and work show. That's what we're doing, or we're, that's what I'm doing. 
at uh, 145 where I'm at. Am I the only one here? Yeah, you are the only Well, no, there's someone else. Deadly Bits is here or something. I don't know. Uh, Deadly Bids. But yeah, I've been live for like 26 minutes flying solo till about two minutes ago. But I'm good. I can talk to myself all day, so. <laughs> all right. Seven bucks. Go with media mail. I always do media mail. Unusual package. Global shipping. Blah, blah, blah. Require my cash. 60 days. Okay. I can save it. Go up here. Grab my other little whatever's called I'll put up there. Yeah, it's uh, Saturday, Katie Trader. Very possible that. <laughs> kind of like you guys on here. Pretty. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. Like this. Like that. No, still pretty crappy. All right. Uh, what are we going to do? What do you record with? It's just my laptop. And I think I screwed it up even more because I tried to take off that little lens that goes over it, you know? So that'd be just the camera part. And I was using my, my live reader, trying to dig that in there and pop it out like a little cap or something. Nah, slipped, scratched. So, yeah. Look like this. No, does that help? No. 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 Maybe I should put this up higher, huh? That might be better. It's like a all around light kind of thing. I don't know. It's where we're at here, so. Let's tilt this thing down. This. To get a little bit of light over there. This. That. All right. Let's knock out this book real quick. And I'm not going to do uh, live list, or I'm going to do live listing, but I'm going to go take pictures first and then go back and insert my pictures because if you list as you go while you're taking pictures it freaking takes forever hey what's up thrifty christy how you doing thanks for popping in i even sent thrifty christy a message i'm like hey man i'm live hello world anybody there Is this thing on <laughs> this is a pretty cool book 1966 is uh I don't know if you guys want to watch what I'm taking pictures of or or me I don't, I don't know. I'd rather watch what you get or if I were you I'd rather watch what you're taking pictures of but just let me know oh but now that I have that light way up here it uh it's too far away so that's not gonna work. I need to be able to move it around and around and around and around. Boom. Done. See? Much better. Uh, what was that? Oh, that's cool. It's okay. Got a card, card. 20 bucks. Woohoo! Nice. You got some work ahead of you now, then, huh? Try it like this. Come on. There you go.
I get quiet when I gotta focus, man. And once again, I'll do the contents of the book. And a few of the pages, but I'm not gonna get too far into it because the uh, spine's not really even broken in. Really good shape. So, Better Homes and Gardens Professional Sewing Tips. Got two of them. I don't know that I need two of them. I guess that's good though, right? Once I want to make one listing, then once it sells, then I'm good. Let's make sure it's the same. 1966, yep. So, just take those price tags off there. I won't be sticking any price tags to myself today. I'm taking this off now because if I don't and I forget and I send it, that would be uncool. Okay, those are good to go. Oh, crap. Let's have to put the books on the bookshelf. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Knit sweaters. Already had a closed list. Now much more. Well, that's good. That's a good problem to have, man. It's better to have too much inventory than not enough. I'll tell you that. Not a death pile until you call it that. Until then, it's just called it inventory. Kathy Krogan, not too well in this. That. Farm Journal Incorporated, distributed. Blah, blah, blah. Farm Journal Craft Book. Before you begin, time management dates. Stitches. Snitches get stitches. Man, those are pretty cool sweaters, man. Hey, look at that. There's a little insert to say. Somebody's notes from back in the day. Sale of Century, P.O. Box 400. Oh, it's just someone's notes that they made and put in here. I saw a color picture here somewhere. There you go. Hey, that's cute. Look at that. Stylish. Huh, not digging that. That's a killer glare. Killer glare, man. Can't have that. Let's try that. Oh, geez, that's even worse. What's going on here? There we go. Let's try that. That's better. Okay, I think that's almost enough time on one book, Todd. Keep going, buddy. Get some good pictures. For sure. You did. What did she say? I sold three things today. Good. Guess you have things to ship then, huh? Yep, you. Yep. So last night, I was looking through uh, stuff about 1973. What happened in 1973? Now, it's the year I was born. So I was looking it up, and a lot of stuff happened that year. That was a year that uh, Aerosmith released their debut album. 1973 was also the year that Dark Side of the Moon was released. 1973 was also the year that Elvis Aloha Hawaii was beamed around the world the first time in history and had more viewers than the Apollo landing, Apollo moon missions. Also, it was a big year for uh, Nixon. 
a bad year for Nixon. Uh, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff that happened. And some people that were born are like uh, Sean Paul. Who's that? I think he's a like a kind of rapper dude. Oh. All right. Vietnam War ended. Yup. Hey, what's up, Groove Master Resellers? How you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Okay, so we got the books handled. I'm gonna go put these up on the bookshelf. Putting them on the shelf where they go with the books over here. And you know what I should do? I should just do a live inventory search because I'm seeing lots of stuff on my shelf that I don't think is in my stores. You know? Um, or do I just sit here and keep taking pictures, man? What do you do? What do you do? Um, 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 um I think I'm just gonna take keep taking pictures. That's the facts. Just the facts, lady. All right. What is this? Accent on achievement. This is a clarinet book. It's back to school time, right? Still has the uh, CD in there. I don't know if it's audio or video. It's oh, it's book on tape. Boom. So if anyone needs to learn to play the clarinet, there you go. Good. I'm going to go ahead and just scan that real quick. Scanner action. What do you have going on today, Groove Master Phil? Working? Chilling? Okay, I'll take it. 846. Three bucks shipping. It's just been sitting in the box. Sold. 846. Three bucks shipping. So go down here. Sell them. Like it looks like this person sold multiples of those. Working. Awesome. And you're in the right spot, buddy. That's what we're doing up here, too. Although, I can see some lunch here on the horizon. Somewhere. For breakfast, maybe I'll just go grab a uh, protein or instant breakfast shake thing. Those are good. <clears throat> just enough to keep it going. Okay. I cooked that turkey pot pie live yesterday, and I just didn't quite work out for me, so I won't do that again. I think it's because I nuked it and it just sucked all the moisture out of it. And it was like just dry. Dry. Two CDs and one for your PC and for your stereo. That's cool. That's the way to learn, man. That's the way I learned. I just use that probably. That's not good. Don't do that. Learn to play it. Looks like whoever owned this was named Kayla. There you go. Guess I'm I'm listing it while I'm live. Or listing. Whatever. It tells you how to sit and stand and how to play some of the songs. Let's take a picture of this. There you go. About to be done. Jam this over here with the rest of the books. <coughs> right away. I think VCR time. It's VCR day, guys. It's time. They've been sitting over there looking at me. 
we're knocking out some VCRs today. So I've got like a couple for sure. And then we'll do this Bushnell, uh, the laser level kind of thing. Pretty sweet. But this has the remote. This. There's this. Let me grab my rubber bands. First, I'll plug this in so it lights up for the people to see. Okay, what do I need to get? Oh, I got that. Don't worry. Oh, I need that. Rubber bands. Okay. We're going to plug it Because I've got to get rid of the stuff that's on this table. It's getting out of control. And it's just sitting there and it's ugly. It's plugged in. Man, this thing's light. Sanyo forehead. Don't know what rings. Haven't looked it up, but I have tested it already. I plugged it in. I think I did a video on that even. That's how long it's been. They've been sitting there just waiting. 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 Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Nine fifty. You know what? Let's go eight eighty eight. I like that. Eight eighty eight. That means forever and ever and ever. Right? Title list. So I'm gonna copy. Copy. Bring her down, drop it in the description, paste, and then break it up. Alfred, accent on achievement. Break it up. Click. Book one. Click. B flat. Uh, clarinet. Uh, click. Book and CD. Do a backspace, and I'll throw in the old uh, bullet point, and then we'll be good, right? That I haven't got to be sure yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. Back, back, back. Back. That'd be cool if this had a barcode, huh? It does, but I doubt that that's it. I doubt that'll pull anything up. So let's just turn it on. There we go. People want to see that it works, man. What I should do is go grab the TV, a little TV, and do what Beard of Picker does, huh? Should I? I think I've done that in the past, and it, I don't know if it really helped. But maybe I should. I think I will. Yep. Okay, Christy, I will do that. Grab a little TV. From over here. From over there. Uh, where do I have a little TV stand? All right, don't mind me. Just get the uh, get a little table here, our little TV, and I will just move. First, move this, move this, and then we're gonna go like this. Put this right here. That way I can work. Cold coffee is good coffee. It was hot. No, it's not. So, let's see here. Um, want this up here. Want the TV back there. Is that a bug? Come on, is that a bug? <laughs> it's not a bug. All right. 
this. So I really want the picture is I'll get a power strip back there. Sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, okay. All right. So that's that. Now I can just put this like this. And the picture will be behind it. And that'll be that'll be pretty good, I think. That. All right, power. Turn this on. Um, what is this? A, a VCR? So I need to go grab a tape. It shouldn't be too hard. I'll throw the Care Bears movie in. We better do a two for one. Huh? I'm gonna start doing that too, yeah. Uh, I've done it in the past. It's not that hard to do. So I need to go grab some wires, which are right here. I'll go ahead and just grab my tote of wires. Okay, so this is my tote of wires. And when I have a product that I'm selling, it's always nice to include that. And then what else do I like to put in there? The uh, the actual old school, what you call it? Um, so I've got one here. Looks like it. No, it's some uh, coax, you know. Uh, no. Okay, so I take it back. This person is not getting any coax cable. They're just getting the old these. So go ahead and plug this in. Quick like, Bada boom. Yeah, just plug it into the front. Yellow goes to yellow, red goes to red, white goes to green. No, I'm joking. That's back. Oh crap. Get this situated here. Out in. Out oh, in. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on the sink? It's a Sanyo. It doesn't feel like it's that great quality, honestly. I mean, it's very light. It is a forehead. Um, but I remember VCRs being heavy. Okay, so I'm going to go like that to cover up the nastiness on the TV because I know where we got this TV from, but go around it. There we go. Movie. Care Bears. I got to be on the right channel. Channel 3? No. Channel 2? No. DVD? No. Scare! Care Cousins! Call! There you go. Nice and clear. Turn it down. There you go. Picture. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, that's flashing hard. Holy crap. In my camera here. That looks awful. I don't know how it's going to take a picture. Let's try it. Did you guys see that? There we go. Good angle. Whatever. Good enough.
Luna. Sanyo. Some light down in this thing, man. Let's see what the heck I'm Come on now. There's the model number. I'm like, where's that? that you know what I should actually uh, fast forward it okay sounds good go ahead and rewind it sounds good stop Probably throw some batteries in for most so I can double check it, right? So where did I put my batteries? Oh, right here. Right here. Right, Nobody's home. Except for me. No sounds good right now. If I was in Colorado, I'd go get some tamales. Oh, you know what? I bet. Uh, yeah, some tamales sound good right now. Some eggs. Eggs and tamales. Let's try this out. Power. Ah, works. Okay. Turn it on. Eject. Bada bing. Okay. So now I know the remote works and we're good to go. So that's that. Uh, do I need to get any other pictures like the back? Yeah, I guess I should. Just real quick, right? The serial numbers and whatnot, so I know it matches. If I try and get jacked. Good enough. Good enough, Chuck. These. You know, I think it's something simple and easy right now, like uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Turkey sandwich. I'd say a tuna sandwich, but that takes longer. Quick, fast, and easy. Don't want to leave you guys hanging for too long. Did yesterday, came back, and everybody was gone, man. I was like, ah, oh, shnikes. So, had to be conscientious of that. I'm glad I got these rubber bands. Those are green. Pretty cool looking. Um, remote control. It goes together. It goes together like. VCRs, remote controls. Put this up here where it fits. Oh shit! That sucks. Because all I've got this uh, little brass thing. It's from Spain, and it has all these cool little swords that go in here. And I just knocked it over. So put it back together real quick. I bought this to sell, but just haven't been able to bring myself to sell it because it's so cool. Little swords in there, and they're really cool looking too. I mean, they're metal, and it's every mother's nightmare basically. But every boy's dream is think of the fun you could have. 
<laughs> Have one of the swords. Get in all kinds of trouble. There's a couple swords that are actually, uh, there a name on there? That says, I looked these up and it said something about Spain. So, buy by the dozen. Oh, no. I've got a friend in uh, Fargo. She has a little thing she does out of her house called Maria's Kitchen. And she does specials throughout the week. So, like, she'll have a breakfast special and then she'll deliver it to you, man. Or you meet her for it or whatever. She's out there hustling. And back when I was selling cars, she brought me some. I think it was her that brought me a, a full plate of enchiladas. Not just a plate, but like a whole platter. Like she, you know, right out of the oven. Um, And then some tamales and just all kinds of good stuff. That is the one thing I do miss about selling cars. Is all the food. And cool stuff. People used to come and come and bring me. It was crazy. It just reminded me that I was doing a good job taking care of people. So I am missing a couple swords here, which is not hard to believe, but that's what it looks like when it's all put together. A whole bunch of metal swords. Brass. How much you gonna list those for? Uh, I am not gonna. Those are just for me to look at. <laughs> they go right over here. Or over there. Somewhere. Anywhere. Right there. Because they're just too cool. Too cool for school. You know what? I'm gonna run upstairs and I'm gonna grab a just in case so far are you. I'm gonna go grab Quick, quick, quick sandwich, like a one minute. I'll be gone one minute. Give me a second. All right, sorry, guys. I hate to do that, but, man, I have to eat somewhere. I'm going to freaking fall over, you know? Eating chicken and dumplings. I'm going to miss them. Uh, there's a corner store that had a Oh, tamales. Nice. So it's a PBJ because something fast and easy for me. Mm-hmm. Well... I just need enough food to stay alive, man. I'm not picky. I'm just thankful for it. Oh, it's cooking. Right, right, right.
Yep. Be thankful. Chicken dumplings are delish. Delicious. I don't know why I always put off eating. Because <clears throat> I know that those days, like a couple days ago, I ate a couple sandwiches, a couple turkey sandwiches and some pickles, and I had a you know good breakfast, whatever you want to call it. And I was great all day. I felt on top of the world, but when uh, I don't eat anything, and it's now two o'clock, I've been up since seven thirty. Just been drinking coffee. Not good, Todd. Not good. And then I'm like, gee, I don't know why I feel like crap. Yeah, got to feed yourself. I know white bread's not the best for you, but. Uh oh. Right. Very possible mama's home. Good Caroline. She went to the farm to pick her up. Sorry, I'm being a pig. I'm trying to jam it in because I want to be done with it. It's lunch time, right? Been out for an hour. What the heck? Gotta have lunch. Yeah, <clears throat> I really should be more conscientious about it and teach a little bit better. But I can go without food and sleep when I'm. In the studio, or not in the studio anymore, but back when we were jamming, you know, practicing, you know, rehearsing for shows and stuff. Yeah, drink, I need drink. Gotta have water, man. Gotta keep that throat hydrated. Food, not so much. Milk, absolutely not. Peanut butter, uh uh. Get too much phlegm, man. For me. All right, we are have eaten. We're good. Your roommate, Brittany. How is her husband doing? Does dialysis and everything go smooth? Yep. Does Brittany have a channel? Is she subscribed? If not, you better get on her about that. So she needs to subscribe. We're shooting for 200 here before September. That'd be cool. But uh, 187. Creativity keeps me going. Yeah. I hear you. I heard him say something. Excuse me. That's right here. These are words. Books of words. Books of songs. Books. Tablets full of words. Here, let's see here. Let's see what this... We'll grab randomly and see what I was thinking on this day. Okay, ready? What does this say? Another youth... Another youthful statistic lost, separated from you and I. Huh. Whales that reach the heavens, the angels hear the cries. Divided it in an instant, yet fully you remain. Within our hearts, a part of our souls, we know the side of you most will never know. Hmm. Smiles that come natural when you were around, the laughter and joy. Yeah, crazy, huh? Um... Oh, 
have a date on this. I think I know what that one's from. Show me something good. Nothing good in that one, really. Jeez, that was a thick one. Okay, here we go. Um, she doesn't really have a YouTube. I'll get her to Yeah, you should. There's Kay. Just a video stay out of town. Okay. Huh. Okay, how about this one? Group master fail. <clears throat> Overhead, I can hear the sky fall. In front of me, people running with blinders on. Desensitized for the last two decades. I blame it on you. I disrespect me for, for watching with a smile at this tragedy. Remember when life seemed to be worth living? Now each day is a, sh a, a sentence of death. It's the food in the... Oh, wow. It's the food, the air, the water we use. You and I have polluted it, So and soon there'll be nothing left. Uh, you put your trust in the president because you're... What? Something swallow his lies. I don't know, man. But anyways, get all crazy. Oh, here you go. Here's a good one. I even put see, I, I can tell when it's gonna be something when there's actually like verse chorus, verse chorus, verse chorus written down. It means I was like probably thinking, maybe. I don't know, hard to say. Let's see. It's been a long time since you last tried. No actions revealed Sh shows me a sense of lost pride. Get back up. We're your, we are your backup brothers until the last page. Get back up. Don't crack up under life's strain. So that was the chorus. Uh, saw you shuffling down Main Avenue, head head down, looking broken and blue, mumbling to yourself about what you're going to do, something about the world against you, a distorted look across your face. The person I once knew has somehow been replaced. Get back up. We're your backup. Brothers, until the last page, get back up, don't crack up, under life's strain. Uh, it wasn't so long ago you resided on top of the world. Seems like yesterday until everything started to unfurl. Uh, ignore the, oh no, images of defeat is where you have chosen to dwell, but we'll try until you, but we'll try until the end to help you extinguish your hell. But we'll try until the end to help you distinguish for your hell. And then goes back to chorus. Get back up where you're back up. Um, no, where we at? Get back up where you're back up. Brothers into the last page. Get back up. Don't crack up under life strain. Um, let's see here. What else? <laughs> it's funny. When you, uh, when you look, oh, here's, there's a nice little clown, little Pennywise action drawing. <laughs> okay, so this is back when I was planning my limousine company. Because right here it says, Oh, no, this was for the party bus. I've got tons and tons of notes from my old party bus stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, so here is this. <laughs> it is, uh, maybe I'll just, I'll read this someday. I've got seven chapters of a book that I wrote. And I wrote it longhand, and then I typed it. And, uh... Maybe I'll read you a page of it. <clears throat> what do you think of that? I think I just might. That's totally off subject of eBay's, totally off subject of everything. But uh, <coughs> I'll make it anyway. <coughs> Let's get some light here. It says, damn, I should get my glasses too, huh? 
it had been a picture. <clears throat> Can you guys hear me clearly? I'll move this over here so I don't have to scream. It had been a picture perfect day. Summer had just closed the deal on her dream house, and at only 29, she had already accomplished almost every goal on her list of things to do before she died. Uh, to celebrate, she was she was going to meet two of her best friends for martinis at a trendy martini bar off of Blake Street. No, this all takes place in Colorado. Okay. Um, the Colorado air was crisp and seemed to be engulfed with positivity. Oh, energized with positivity. It's a uh, written longhand in cursive, so it's kind of with positivity. Uh, as she slid into her favorite little red dress, she spun around to examine her ass in the full-length gilded mirror. Um, those classes really are working, she thought. And with a wink and a kiss, she uh, kissed herself. She glided away. Since everything she owned, save a few articles of clothing, were packed in rows and rows of uniform-shaped boxes, she had to squeeze through her soon-to-be-sold-at-a-profit condo to get, uh, to get to the front door. Her mind hiccuped. Shreem, shreem, what did I say? Mind hiccuped. She remembered her exact thoughts as she turned to look at the door. Could life get any better? It was a, uh, it was a mild late afternoon, so walking seemed like a great idea. The flip floppers, uh, the flip, the flip flopper sandals made against the bottom of her meticulated, meticulously pedicured feet. Cast her back to the day, her days as a child when she discovered her fondness for flip flops, of which she over the years has owned hundreds of. To her, the idea that feet could talk to you while in motion has what, has fascinated her. Oh, had fascinated her adolescent mind. Adolescent mind, you know, because they go flip flop. You don't know what cursive is. <laughs> That's cursive. Uh, summer arrived fresh. Yeah, that's why I typed this. Do I have the type version in here? Because it's freaking hard to read. But anyways, goes on and on. And then she meets this dude named Devin Zanders, and he's a stud. Where's the book? Is the book in here? No, no. These are not... But these are uh, lyrics that have, that have been typed up now. What's this one? Oh, here you go. Check this out, Groove Master. <clears throat> the time has come to stand your ground. Prove the world wrong with the sound. Of my words, I write the truth. Let me tell you what it's time to do. It's time to listen to your mind, and all you know is right. Never forget, brothers lost to the fight. Believe premonitions that you felt. Conceive your own reality. This is when you're finally free. Finally free. Finally free. Been told how many times what you feel is not right. To hold the false teachings only to be left blind. To what's real. To what's yours. Get out of my fucking way. We're kicking down life's doors. It's time to listen to your mind and all you know is right. Never forget brothers lost to the fight. Believe premonitions that you felt. Conceive your own reality. This is when you're finally free. Finally free. You feel the surge in your spirit. A, a newfound way to take control. No longer society's victim. Now I think it's time you should know. Create a brand new mind. Leave past shit behind. For freedom, I'm willing to fight. For freedom, be willing to die. It's time to listen to your mind and all you know is right. Never forget brothers lost to the fight. Believe premoni premonitions that you felt. Conceive your own reality. This is when you're finally free. Finally free. Copyright 2007. It's called The Truth. I'd like to do an audio book of maybe my book. That might be fun, huh? A whirlwind of dust breaking down day by day. This place we call life will all pass away. Mortality, something we all face. But love will never end, never fades away. Until we meet again, I will always be your friend. Divine is the Lord, his grace is evermore. That was an idea for a business I had. Uh, have you ever found wonder in the chance you are alive? 
Well, I know I've been so low, I was sure that there was nowhere else to go. Have you ever realized your life taken for granted? I suggest you take time right now in your mind. This may be it, your last chance. To change your life, your mind. Be an inspiration to us all. Change your life, your mind. I'll catch you if you fall. Change your life, your mind. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family if no one else. But if you stumble or start to falter, I won't condemn you because, brother, I've been there. For real. Want to hear how that goes? Have you ever found wonder in the chance you are alive? Well, I know I've been so low, I was sure that there was nowhere else to go. Have you ever realized life taken for granted? I suggest you take time right now on your mind. This may be it, your last chance. To change your life, your mind. Be an inspiration to us all. Change your life, your mind. I'll catch you if you fall. Change your life, your mind. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family if no one else. But if you stumble, start to falter, well, I won't condemn you. Because, brother, I've been there. So was that one. Let's see what you got here. Oh, this is not good. This is called Blackened Heart. This has been recorded. I don't like to look that one because it's too much bad energy. Oh, my babies are home. My babies are home. My babies are home. Hello? Uh-oh. Here's a good one. Goes. Friday night, fourth time this week is what it's called. Goes Friday night, fourth time this week. Life's getting out of hand. I'm pouring my soul out so you might understand. Daily stress, the tragedy, the reality. Keep pulling me down so I float away for a while. I managed to find the strength to smile. Friday night, fourth time this week, slowly taking its toll. I'm never home and I'm always alone. It's getting old. Well, what can I do? It's me. It's not you. And where should I go to help pull me through? And what can I say to you? Or And what can you say to make me feel right? And what will I have to do to make it through tonight? One last Friday night, one man's last wish tonight. Yeah. What else you got there? Oh, that's the same one. Or a different one. Here's one. Goes, uh, I've burnt every bridge I've known. Ready? Let's go. I've burnt every bridge I've known because every time I try, I know I've learned. I've gone past the wrongs been done to me. I let it all go and I'm free. I'm free to live my life outside, aware to how I feel in my mind. No longer will I roam in vain. Burnt every bridge I've ever seen. The past, just dredged up memories, will only lead me to sorrow. Life is pushing forward today. No time to ponder lost tomorrows. Confront your bridges and watch them burn. The final test in which you determine what was learned. Confront your bridges, my friend, it's time for you to find what you've got left of your mind. And it goes like this. I burnt every bridge I've known. Cause every time I try, I know I've learned gone past the wrongs been done to me. Let it all go and I'm free. Well, I'm free to live my life outside. Where to how I feel in my mind. No longer will I roam in vain. Burnt every bridge I've ever seen. The past is stretched of memories. Will only lead me to sorrow. Life's pushing for today. No time to, no time to ponder last morrows. Confront and what's crazy is it's actually really, really fast. Um, but it sounds slow there. Because it goes, <laughs> well, you just have to hear it. But anyway, that one rocks. I tried to listen to what you said, but the lies called facts kept running through my head. Alone, you choose to walk again, but the past remains a long lost friend. Believing your fairy tales, tonight will cast darkness on tomorrow's light. 
won't you reason with your mind if you only knew the, the way I know? And so you go on living dead wrong, seeking shelter from the storms you create, disregarding, uh, disregarding people as you take, casting aside others' feelings. All that matters is you. Thanks for calling while you were flying so high. I guess you felt the need to numb the shame, needed to need a direction for you to cast blame. This is how you want me in your life? Guess what? Not going to happen tonight. Oh, holds up lighter. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... Yeah, man, I was. Yeah, I'm just going to sing it or say it, but. Um... Moving on down the road, done listening to the lies I'm told. Time is now for me to speak out. Time is here for me to scream out. I won't take it anymore. You're blasphemy. Don't need the torture. I'm running from your pain. Don't look back now because I'm gone again. I've wised up the 10th time round. Realize what matters. And it's not the sound of your voice telling me to change. There's no one that walks to earth for whom I should rearrange. My thoughts, my words, times now must be heard. I won't take it anymore. You blasphemy. I, I crave the, I don't crave the torture, the misery. Don't look back now because I'm long gone. A rearview memory of a love gone wrong. A new day, a brand new life. No longer reminded of short of shortcomings. I'm free tonight. Um, oh man, this is old, old. I typed this when I was in my twenties, man, on the typewriter. Yeah, typewriter. Do you want to hear what I've got to say? You know, life's hard, man. I feel the same. We've got to stop fighting each other. We need to be able to depend on our brothers. I feel this is when we can shout out in unison. Bring it on. Give us the best you've got. Bring it on. Together, we've already won. So bring it on and let this deal be done. Things change. People no longer the same. Everyone sees things through different eyes. Someone please tell me, am I the only one wise? To the plans and to the lies. The government tells us each day, just see our point of view and we'll take care of you. But these same people lie with each breath, withhold stories of death, planning a normal life. Not going to happen in America tonight. This is why you must stop. Or this is why you must help out your brothers. I need to be able to depend on you, brother. I feel this is when you can shout out in unison. And then, yeah. Oh, here's the, the revised. Yeah, that's what it's the same. Bring it on, your barrage of lies. On, it doesn't matter anyway. On, we've reached the bend. On, eternity not far away. Enjoy today, my friend. See, but I don't, this is not how I feel anymore. I mean, I was in my 20s and early 30s where I was just really mad or whatever. <clears throat> Here's one. As the tick of life talks by with haste. Isn't that a freaking cool line? As the tick of life talks by with, help, with haste and the quest for love has been replaced. Take a moment to reflect on what's what. Take stock in yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Did you choose who you become or did you let life happen? Are you the kind that bitches about trivial things or do you roll with the punches? Can you handle the hard knocks of life? The, are you, can you handle the hard knife? The hard knocks life is sure to bring. They said you never amount to shit. You believe them, so this is what you get. Turn the corner. Continue on the next page. As long as you're breathing, you can face each new day. So what will you do with this gift that has been granted to you? Don't be a statistic that squandered it away existing. For this is an eternal waste. Fun to yeah, it is, man. It is fun to see where I've been and now that I'm not like that no more. <laughs> uh, you whispered in my ear. Uh, so yeah, this is all some old stuff, and this is just stuff that's been typed. There's pages and pages and pages of stuff, but uh, I like positivity now. I'm all about positivity. Which some of the stuff was, but a lot of it was. Who is it? Nobody I care about. So this was more, more of my book that I hand wrote on a. What do you call it?
Uh, I could feel her eyes burning through me, tears welling up to douse the fire fury she was holding back, and yet she looked more beautiful at that very moment than she had in the past two weeks. Her name was Abby, and at only 21, she had the knowledge of a woman twice her age. I met her at a secondhand store in the autobiography section. She was thumbing through a massive book about Elvis, an eclectic-looking girl with jet black hair and cat eye glasses. She was keenly aware of my presence, but made no attempt to acknowledge me. I think I'm, we're on to something, huh? Pretty good. Most of us are a little tortured. <laughs> yeah. Um, most females, young and old, always perked up around me, and yet she appeared immune. Luckily for her, I had been raised on Elvis. I began singing in my best Elvis, Elvis impersonation. Treat me like a fool. Treat me mean and cruel, but love me. She took her attractive. She took her attentions away, her attention away from the book, and glared at me as if to say, "How dare you attempt to soil the king's memory with your voice?" I loved her. I loved her. Finally, a challenge. Ever been to Graceland? I said in an unwavering tone. No. She shot back. Well, I have, and it's killer. Well, good for you, she hissed. What's your main problem? I blurted out with the same venom. There, I threw her off kilter. The next time she looked into my eyes, I could see it. The pain, the loss, her face drained of all expression. I'm a bitch, she calmly said. What? Why? I stammered. What's it to you? You looking to write a book? Abby mouthed. What? I responded. Don't you have someone else to bother? I mean, just leave me alone. I don't know you and you don't and don't care to know you. Far be it from me to impose on a no say it. I said, fine. Far be it for me to impose on a fellow Elvis fan. Have a good one. I strolled into the fiction section. After selecting a few anorized books that were in far better shape than my earmarked originals, I walked to the counter to purchase my newfound treasures and a cup of black coffee. I love the way this little bookstore smelled in the morning. It's a mixture of coffee, cinnamon, and fresh air. Well, Ling, the store's, the store's owner's daughter, rang me up. I glanced back over my shoulder to take a last look at such a beautiful, self-proclaimed bitch. To my dismay, she had moved and was no longer, uh, no longer visible. Your total is six dollars and sixty-six cents, Senda. Ling, the cashier said in broken English. Great. The day can only get better from here, I said. Uh, what you mean, Zenda? Oh, it's nothing, Ling. Tell your father I said hello. Okay, we'll do. Be good today. She told me the same thing every morning. There were days that those few words reminded me to think before I acted. Thank God for Ling. I sat down at one of the two little tables that occupied the sidewalk in front of Chen Ling's store and began to read the sweet nectar that Mrs. Rice's words represented to me. As I sipped my coffee from a black... Oh, a black porcelain cup. She waved... What she she something at something the Elvis book I had seemed oh she some at the she seemed to be carrying the Elvis book I had seen her with I made one last attempt to talk to her sorry I bugged you earlier I spoke without sound so I basically said. Like that. Um, I motioned with my hand for her to join me, obviously feeling foolish about her initial cr crassness towards me. She acknowledged me with a few bats of her eyelashes and sat down. Um, I extended my hand and introduced myself. Hey, I'm Devin. Devin Zanders. Morning. I'm Tabitha, but people call me Abby. Um, I have... Something always, I've genuinely always liked the name Tabitha, and I was pleased at the response I got when I divulged this, this grain of trivia about myself. See, I, 
I just write as my brain goes. And uh, yeah, I began to speak. I've never seen you in here before, and I live around the corner. I just moved into town yesterday, she sheepishly responded. Oh, yeah? Anyway, so here's a whole other thing. So there's a couple more layers peeled back on the onion of Todd Rendon, the flippin' weirdo hustler. And now it's time to get back to work. Get back to it. What is this? Lease or purchase a converted vehicle. One day was talking about. Stay humble. All right, everybody, I think it's time for an intermission. We have been on for one minute and 33 or one hour and 33 seconds. So I am going to go check on my wife, check my daughter, check on the dog, grab something to drink, and I will be back in 10 minutes. Cue the music. See you soon.
All right, guys, intermission's over. We're going to do another 30 minutes, and then we're going to call it because we've got stuff to do. All right, we're back. Back in black. All right, where's the other VCR, guys? There it is. It was a snake, but it bit me in the face. Like I paid four bucks for that, really? Possibly. Panasonic, no remote. Uh, but it is a forehead. Omnivision. I don't know, maybe that's something, something good. Hard to say. Maybe not. But I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I was talking to my wife, and uh, she was saying that, uh, that's on. Plug it in, plug it in. Sipping on some chili coffee now. Okay, there is no tape in there. Stick the Care Bears in. Done, it's plugged in. Should be good. Just playing. Have it on in, not out. Makes a difference. So there you go. I guess I really don't need to do the audio, but I will. Check it. Turn it up. Yeah. Yep. That's good. So look like that. Let's take that picture. Look at that. I'm gonna have to start finding some remotes. Um, is that a towel down here? I want to get this t shirt. It's a clean up t shirt. I wonder if Karma Carousel got her t shirt. Should have arrived by today, for sure. You know? Just knock the dust off this real quick, guys. A little bit of dust. That. Uh, enough. Uh, all right. Good enough. Picture time. Oh, I did the phone. Sweet. There we go. Where's the model number? Should have bust out a Q-tip on this thing, I guess. But two people, what's up? Check with Lonnie. Oh, on remotes, yeah. Okay. 
another Panasonic on the vision. A little bit different. That was loud. Come on. Tape in there ready so I can play it. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell this thing. She is noisy. Noisy, noisy. So this one goes in the shotgun pile, meaning we'll just shoot it. All right, I know I've got another one here somewhere. Now, I was watching somebody, who was it? Might have been the Bearded Picker Show, and they had all the guys on there. About, or maybe not, I don't know. Something to do with, oh, hi, baby. Or, I mean, hi, Caroline. Caroline's in here. She's in there as Samantha. <laughs> uh, that, you know, even if it doesn't work initially, leave it plugged in for a little bit. And sometimes it just has to warm up. So we're going to see if that's the case. I'm going to try and clean out this camera just a bit. Let's see. I don't know if that helps or not or what, but. Okay, so we'll just leave it plugged in. Turn it on. Okay, it turned on. Plug the cables in. This is a combo, so I'm really hoping it works, man. It's a Sony DVD VHS recorder. So we're going to see. Oh, that part works. Let's grab a DVD. Uh, grab one that's open top. Here's one of the ones, one of the things I had to cancel. Sometimes I get lost in the chat and I can't remember, I don't, can't put what with what. Okay, so it's loading. DVD. Come on, baby, play. Playing. Boom. Okay, so that works. I guess I should turn the audio up. Make sure it works. Can't see why it wouldn't, you know. Okay, so there it is. Let's switch over to VCR, push play, and there it is. Oh, crap. Looks like uh, I was watching Bambi. <laughs> Bambi just got shot, but the dad did. Or no, oh, it's Fox and the Hound. Crap. That's Todd, man, look. Yup. Fox and the Hound. You poor little fellow. It's all right. Big Mama's here. Oh, no, 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 not 
Now, big mama now. Now, I'm thinking though. Oh, oh uh -huh. now, now, don't you move, honey. Big mama's gonna be right back. Good work, Boomer. We'll get him this time. There's no time to lose. I need your help now. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Boomer. Come on. Oh, yeah. But, 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 uh, oh, sh shucks. show the DVD side, did I? Dang it. Better do that. <laughs> do, 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 do. I just saw your Facebook post. Oh, hey, what's up, Marty? You don't get a notification, turn the bell on, yo. Turn the bell on. Can't get a notification without the notification bell. Wait till the picture comes on here. The bell is on. Well, I put out a, a 15 minute heads up even. Based on a true story, huh? The watch this. Bat 21, Gene Hackman and Don, Danny Glover. Should be pretty good. Hmm. Weird. Maybe that's why the first 30 minutes I sat and talked to myself 26 minutes before the first person came in. Nice shot, Ham. I drew it a little to the left. Bit too deep in the goddamn hole. I miscalculated the wind by a couple knots. Give me a break. Well, you know, it's all a matter of degrees. The difference between the big money and not making the cut is razor thin. Well, I wasn't thinking about qualifying for the Masters, you know. Kind of had my sights set on the NBA. Well, your hook shot's working, Scotty. Okay. That's. So there's another one. Yeah. I'm going to have to rearrange my VCR setup over here. Sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. All 
All right, and then we're gonna do a 180 degree change from electronics. Like this, like this, Ugh, get that on weight. Continue on with the next thing, which is some crazy looking vintage trays. Kind of fun. Multicolors. Kind of weird looking. And uh, I think it's time to get rid of the box like this. Flatten this out. Like that. And I'll just go ahead and leave these like this. Pretty cool. Don't you think? I guess maybe I could have washed them first. That would have been nice. Todd. Only one that really shows any kind of need and some love is a white one. Bust up. Or are you testing a player? I did. I already did. I uh, did two VCRs and a DVD combo. So, yeah. Do 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 do. Alright. You can't get the gist from that. Well, then, what the heck, huh? What the heck's what I got to say about it? Let's put the orange stuff in the orange stuff. That works. Alright, what's next? We'll reach into the pile and he pulls out a. What is this? Making Spider-Man kids shorts. All right, there you go. The web slinger. I've got them. They gotta go. I re <laughs> probably have a lot of kids' clothes because I. Don't sell them. I don't take pictures of them. I guess I buy them without thinking. Uh, but uh, kids need clothes too, right? Those are stretchy. So, you know, oh, oh. there's a string. Ugh. Okay. 
zoom in on the little hand here. Put this in front of it so people can say, oh, gee. And then we'll have to ask me, how big is that? Size they, they are made by Spider-Man. Scissors, cut off the excess crapola. Yeah, these are size fives. Get your glare. Oh, weird, a weirdo. Hey, there's the RN number. Really hard to see. Okay, that's that. That'll go over there with the boys' clothes. That needs to be bagged up. What, uh, what are you guys doing, Marty? What are you doing? And everybody else, we got four people in here now. That's awesome. Good to see everybody staffing in. Say what's up. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to set everything right here on top of that tote. And now it's definitely. Those totes were there, and we get Mary Ann Davidson. <laughs> I know that lady, Mary Ann Davidson. Hi, Ma. How you doing? Everybody? Dun, dun, dun. My mom is in the chat. Mary Ann Davidson. That's awesome. I'm glad you're here. I've been on for uh, two hours and seven minutes. We have already been taking more in pictures. What kind of picture should I take, man? You got a request? You got a song request? What do you got? All right, I'm just get back to it. Uh, what do we have that's fun? Um, all right, let me see. I'll find you something fun. Do do do. No, 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 no. Something fun. Oh, here's something fun. How about a bag of calculators? We all like Texas Instrument calculators, right? Woohoo! It's always fun when I find those. Another Texas Instrument. And another Texas Instrument. Sweetness, man. Let's see what they are. TI-30XA. I'll have to look that one up. I bet those two are the same. This one's Texas Instrument. BA2+. plus. Solar. I don't know, but it turns on and off, so that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Let me tell my mom, check it out, mom, check it out. People just get in there and they watch me work, and then they are working, and everybody's working, or they should be working. If not working, then at least write down this, write down. Texas Instruments, BA2 plus. BA2 means a bit analyst. So we'll have to look that up and check it out. I bet it's going to be something good. It's always fun when you open up a, a bag and you're like, hey, look at there. Texas Instrument. I like it. It happens. Move. There we go. Here we go. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, there we go. So that picture, like this, that. Hey, you missed him, Mom. Uh, I was over here reading my book. 
about Summer Day and Devin Zander and Tabitha, Abby. Yeah. Come on, baby, turn up. There we go turn it on. Let's put in here uh, two zero eighteen. There you go. Right. Good to go. Done. Next calculator. I think these are matching. They are. One's a little more worn out than the other. Are they solar? If not. Checking it, man. I hope it is. They're not solar. The batteries go. Gotta be solar. How could they not be solar? Right? Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's right. You can go back and watch it in the, uh, what you call it? Are you just taking pictures of small stuff? Uh, I just got done doing, I did uh, two VCRs, a VCR DVD combo, uh, some shorts, some, a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm just reaching over here into the pile, the magic pile of holy crapness, and pulling stuff out and going for it. <laughs> so and this thing I just pulled out was these calculators. So, but they're not turning on because batteries are dead, I would imagine. Crap. So, has anybody ever, and this is like a stupid question, but has anybody ever taken the batteries out of one of these calculators? And if so, I mean, I guess I could just do that. Whatever. Not going to happen right now, though. So, that's probably why those were in the bag, but this one is ready to rock. So we'll go put this with the other calculators in its face. Face. It's over here. With the electronic calculator. All right, let's reach into the pile. Let's see what we pull out of here. It's gonna be a. Uh, what is it? Look at that. We'll do that and we'll do this. Kind of fun. It is. This thing was actually um, one of my screenshots one time. A little buttercup action. Nah, man, this is little stuff. I need big stuff. I'm going to go find some money. Hold on. Let me find some money. Here's some money right here. There's some cash. Here's some cash. Right here. Make some money. Okay. All right. We're going to throw a pair of white bands. Gonna pull up a, a vintage pastry thing. A Bushnell laser, laser level. And a pair of Laredo boots. Right? Now we're getting somewhere. So these need to be batterized. Batterized. <laughs> need batteries. So put this. I don't know what you're saying, Ma. You lost me. I'm not sure. Sometimes it happens. 
that happens to me. So, yes. Wrong phone. Should really steam this thing off, man. It would look a heck of a lot better. This whole thing would. This case kind of looks crappy. What's in here? It's got a tripod. It's got a one of these. Whatever the heck that is. A little level action thing. Actually, we should leave this in here for a minute, huh? Take that first picture and then go back. You said buttercup. Oh, buttercup. Uh, yeah, my little buttercup. This. The buttercup. Um, Powerpuff Girls. It's, at this point, it is vintage because it's from like '97. Not vintage, but it's not around. Look at that. Okay, so let's get this first picture. This thing's pretty sweet. It's Bushnell laser level. Okay. I'll go ahead and set it up real quick, like set the box aside. The Powerpuff Girls, yes, Marty. Oh, this tripod also extends, so I have to get that in on it. I've actually never set this thing up. I've had it probably a year. I've never set it up. Don't ask me why. I haven't had a reason to. Okay, so that's that. Now what to do? I got to set it up. It's got a level here. And this goes on here, and there's a level over here. This, and then there's a laser. Must, the battery must be dead in it. Take two double A's. So let's uh, find some batteries. I got some batteries for it here. I'm always freaked out by lasers. Put the batteries in there. The laser level, and I have two batteries here on standby, so we'll just jam those right in it. Oh, the AAA, Lamola, crap, AAA, AAA. Think, We've gotta find some AAA batteries, guys. Where do you put them? Are they over here? No, maybe right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, no, no, dang it, ah. I hate putting, stuff, I hate putting stuff up without knowing. I'm a little thing of batteries in it. I don't know where it's probably under this pile of crap over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together, take a picture of it anyway, and call it good. All right? Can't let that jam yet. There we go. Turn this around so you can see the, this part. Oh, son of a. Well, that really sucks. You guys see that? Slid right off, man, and it knocked the pin inside. Let's see, well, that's no big deal, it's supposed to fall out, so okay. That's that, so now I really wish I had some batteries. <laughs> Don't get jammed up. Keep going. And the reason it fails is because I didn't go like this and twist that thing on. So, go like that. 
go like this. That looks cool. All right. Might have to even step back just a tish. Camera up. You know, you'd think with all the stuff being right there that it'd be in the picture, but it's totally not. It's kind of cool that works out. Now I'll go ahead and extend it all the way up. Just so folks can see that it's tall. Oh. Hey, Caroline, if you're watching, baby, do you have any AA batteries anywhere? If you do, bring them downstairs to Danny's tomorrow for a minute, okay? Do you know what you're listening to Tripod for? It's a tripod and a. Uh, here, you can look it up for me. I don't know. It's a Bushnell laser level with tripod and case and i have no idea because i have not looked it up yet okay oh man okay like that like that now i am gonna have to stand back like this I gotta move this like this Oops, I'm over here recording videos like a condo. All right, now because I'm so far back, I am getting into the picture. I'm gonna move this back, this like that, like this. All right, that should do it. Holy buckets! Flip that camera. All right. Uh, let's see, is this going to be tall enough, you think? Come on. Stand up, stand up. Any of that? Is that sufficient? I think. Give somebody some kind of an idea, right? At least. I think so. I do not know. I do not know. Oh, man. Every time I. Right, Stand up! Stand up! Call that good. Yo. Anything else on here I need to get picked up? Let's go ahead and bring this in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Gotta go take some video. Have a great day. Hey, Groove Master. Thanks for being here for so long, buddy. I do appreciate it. I will see you later. Make sure you hit that like button before you roll out. I appreciate it. I looked. I was going to offer you five. What I kind of comes. I'll let you see it. Really? Is it a good one? Well, that's kind of cool. All right. Is it. Is it a tripod that you're in in need of, or is it a a level that you need? Because tripods, I've got another one over here that I haven't listed yet, but it's kind of a weird one. My laptop's over here telling me it's supposed to die. So, take her easy, Groove Master. We'll see you. Did you comp it, Ma? Oh, you did? Is everybody going to not show me? <laughs> Just tell me. Come on. Oh, I'm going to leave this like this. 
Roll this down a little bit. And all the way. This back over here. And this like this. So I can get this, the bubbles, excuse me, in the picture. Okay, that should do it. Okay. Son of a man, really? Uh. Well, fortunately for me, this is made out of aluminum, and it's probably made to be dropped, right? That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Uh, doesn't look like it's effective, so we're good. Close this up. Close this up. Hey, Mom, did you see the hailstorm down there in, at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo? Cars were getting pummeled with hail the size of baseballs. Holy crap, I hope Paco's car is okay in his house. Should have called him. Okay, that's that. Let's put this back in case. Drop it over here. But yeah, Marty, I have another tripod if you need it. If you check it out. Just let me know. I'll put that over there in that in that uh, special section I'm putting together. Man, I don't know. Did that fall really jolt it hard or? I'm going to put on there untested. I dropped this thing twice. <laughs> Come on. How does it go, man? How does it go? Okay. Push now. Next are these boots, and I haven't put them up just because I was like, man, they need to be cleaned up. You know what? I'm just going to put them up there. The person that buys these ain't going to care. That can't be nice. I like the mud. Like this. I don't know. Let's see. But looks. Oh, no, that looks like crap. Complete junk. So, we'll go like this. We're supposed to. We know better. And to make it even cooler, we will give it a little level action. Throw this underneath this. That way, one boot is higher than the other. You can feature one, show the other. I think. I don't know. Let's see. Boom. Boom, and boom. See there? Eh? Let's see what that's saying. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's baseballs. Yeah, they killed the duck and a crane too, man. I told that Caroline's like, oh. It's like, I know, I know.
and I really wasn't that good of a pick. Let's see here. Like this. These things are sweet. I wish they were my size. I'd keep them. Waterproof. Laredo's. Oil and heat. Slip resistant. Rubber sold. Really nice. And But they're size uh, 11 and a half. So that doesn't do anything good for me. Man, this is terrible. These things need to be cleaned. I can see stuff in the soles and everything. That's why I haven't done it. But I'm waiting, waiting, waiting to do it. And I haven't done it. So you know what? Too bad. So sad for me. I'm putting them up. That's what I get. Focus already. Okay. Size. Call it good. Six eight one one two is the number. The RN or the model number, Laredo's, and this should be every bit of 50 bucks, I would think. I would think so. How about a helmet? Let's do a helmet real quick. Why not? Okay. Helmet sell. I'm sold. This one hasn't been waxed or nothing, though. It's just... Where I got it. Let me see what you got here. <clears throat> you need a tripod. I move too much when I take photos. Hell, I have to retake because they were... Listed. Okay, let me grab that uh, other. Here it is, right here. Right behind me. Here, right there. Right here. But it's. What are you using to take pictures with? A phone? Okay, so what I've got is. A real basic tripod, but the top of it has looks like this. So I'm not sure what that's for. I was gonna try and put a camera on there, it swivels. Or, I mean, I was gonna try and put a uh, light, you know, just duct tape a light to it for my lighting setup here. But I hadn't gotten around to it because I used this other one. So, I don't know if you think that'll work for you. Todd, I'm taking off to comp stuff. See you later. Okay, bye, Mom. Take care. I'll see you later. My phone. I just got a phone tripod adapter yesterday. Hmm. I don't think that you'll have anything that'll adapt to that, though. We'll see you later, Ma. Go get some work done. I don't know. Well, the tripod I'm using over here is not even made for, it's made for like a, an old, huge VHS camera, like video recording one. Kind of thing. <coughs> Next. Oh, we got this helmet up here. It's there. Let's take a picture of it. What the hey, huh? I think everybody's fading out. I don't think that tripod will work. I don't think it will work either. I don't think so.
basic helmet, extra extra large, AFX, nothing special by any means. Unless you're landing on your head, then you're probably going to be glad to have it. <laughs> FX5 Even this type of white kind of dust. <laughs> this is the helm that I used to wear when I had my simulator set up, and I'd be sitting there in my little simulator race car with my helmet on, like a dork. But I'd be driving, boy. Fun. Oops. And I never even got to, no one else ever really got to drive it or mess with it or nothing. You've been streaming three hours. I know, isn't that crazy? Two hours, 37 minutes. Thrifty Christy, what's up? I know people have been coming and going and coming and going. And <sighs> Toddy's starting to fade out, boys and girls. Nope. I'm starting to fade out. Well, let's see here. I think, 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 occasionally. Oh, look at that. Let's take a picture of that. Whoa. Who wants one of those? What kind of batteries does it take before I open it? Four double A's. I got double A's. All right. Where's my screwdriver at? Nope. Not going to happen, I guess. All right, folks. I'm thinking. I never wanted a Kirby when they came out. This one still has little tags on it, man. Um... 1999. 1999. Yep. Okay, guys. I think it's time for me to go take off the shirt and tie. I have been live almost three hours. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go change, throw on some comfortable listing clothes, and go see what my girls are up to. And uh, they're probably crashed. So uh, then I'll go watch a movie and list the stuff that's on here. Uh, be sure to go into my store and take a look at uh, the stuff that I put into the FH exclusive category, which is the Flip and Hustler exclusive. I'm going to be putting products in there for you guys, for Marty, for Thrifty Christie, for Bearded Picker, for all the people that watch me. I'm going to put stuff in there and different little things that you might like. Flip and Yep, there you go. Uh, in the categories and then uh, t-shirts and just all kinds of goodies so i'm gonna be doing that so check in there every so often uh and i will have updated it throughout the day that's what i'm gonna do there you go trend and treasures thank you thank you thank you marty you guys have a good day i'm gonna go change uh if you haven't do something do something if you're gonna go do something do something if you're thinking of doing something go do it there's no time like now Talk to you soon. Thanks for being here. End stream. Dun, dun, dun.